Hello everyone, Dave, N6AFV here. I'm going to do a couple of videos, the first of which will be a tutorial that shows you how to download and install the upgraded firmware for the CS580 radio from Connect Systems. The second video will explore the, the enhancements to the CS580 features that the upgraded firmware provides. So stay with me and uh, hopefully you'll find some good useful information in the next uh, couple of videos. To do the firmware update on the CS580, uh, there's a couple things you want to get prepared beforehand. Number one is get your programming cable, get it hooked up, get it plugged into your computer, but don't turn the radio on quite yet. The next thing that you're going to need to do is download some files from the Connect Systems website. So I have that ready to go here. Here is the URL at the top. If you can't read it on your computer, um, it's connectsystems.com slash software slash software space cs580.htm You should see a screen that looks like this. There are actually five files you need to download. One of them is the firmware update zip files. And then the other four are these four right here. You'll notice there's a firmware update instructions in both of these places. These are the same two files. So you need the zip files and you need these four files here. We'll talk a little bit about the English and the instructions to load English file later. Now then, once you get these files downloaded, what you want to do is open up the firmware update instructions. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open these uh, in Microsoft Word so that we have, um, I, I can just very easily go through this. I'm going to change this to 150%. Uh, okay, now then, uh, it tells you to create a subdirectory in your in the program files directory on your your main uh, operating system C drive. You can you can do that, and and I've done it, and it seems to work okay. However, I found that I can run the update file from just about anywhere. A um, couple issues associated with that. One of them is that they tell you to to download these files. Well, all of these files are in the zip file that you just downloaded. So when you get your zip file, and I'm going to show you what I did. Let me close these out. In my OneDrive folder, I have a folder called CS580. And then in that, I had downloaded the zip file and extracted it, and I extracted it to a folder called BFP Update. Well, when I open that up, I have another folder called BFP Update. So a little bit of redundancy, but it's no big deal. Open that up again and you'll see that here are the files that you need to do the update. Now, this one right here, image update exe, in the instructions they tell you to right click on it and select create shortcut. Now, if you are trying to do this in your program files, it'll say Windows can't put a shortcut here. Do you want it on the desktop? And you say yes, it puts it on the desktop. In this case, it created the shortcut. And all I did is I clicked it and I dragged it to the desktop. So that's all ready to go. Once you have this ready to go, the other thing you do is to, let's back out of this and make sure that you have the update firmware version 1.1.0.bfup. Make sure you have that file because you're going to need it. And then you turn on the radio and you press the upper side button as you're turning the radio on. Now that not, that's not the push to talk button, but it's the little upper auxiliary side button on the radio. Turn that on. Turn your radio on. And you should see the indicator at the top glow orange. And that means that it's in the firmware updating mode. So the next step, let me close this window here. Double click on the image update icon and you will see that a couple of things. Number one, if the radio is on and connected, this will be lit up green and it'll say connected. That's what you want. Go to Browse. Go to the folder where you downloaded the update. In my case, it happens to be my CS580 folder. Select that. Open it. And then click Update. And you should see a green progress bar moving across there as it's doing the update. Now the other file that they uh, want you to, to download and install is one called English file. And I called Connect Systems and talked to them and they said, well, that's a file that's needed 
for the update to display the messages properly. So uh, the question came up, well, why didn't they just include that in the update? And the answer is, don't know. So anyhow, so we have to do two files, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple to do. And uh, once the green bar has gone across and you get a indication that says everything's okay, like that, click OK. Turn your radio off. You want to disconnect it. Close this. Now go back to the folder where you downloaded all the files and open up this saving the English file dot docx. Now this is this is pretty simple but now this requires that you have the CPS software installed on your system. I'm assuming that all of you have the CPS software installed on your system because without that you can't do any updates or anything else. So I'll just go through this real quick and then we'll do it on the computer. You'll notice it says it asks you to select load file and when you load the file you'll get uh, you it'll You'll load the English file right here and then when you come down here it'll say the connection is not available you'll press OK and um, it'll say you'll select the English file from your wherever you've stored the computer you're not going to require a password and when you finally get down to this point it should show that that file is in there that is check marked and then you, you turn your radio on, but do not press the upper side button. Just turn it on normally, and you should get a green connected like this. You make sure that file selected. You click load, and there you go. Okay, so let's just do that real quick. So I'm going to close these, and I'm going to go up here. I'm going to get my um, software, and it is right oh, up in the DMR folder here. Sorry. DMR folder. There we go. Okay, so this is the um, this is the screen for the CPS. Go to Program and Load File. Now you notice it says connection is not available. That's okay. Select, and uh, what I'm going to do is go to OneDrive, CS580, and I'm going to click the English file. Open. So now I show that. Now all I do is I turn the radio on without pressing the side button. It says I get a nice green connected and I just click load and it's that fast. So now your radio has the new latest firmware installed and in the next video we're going to talk about how to use the, the, the enhancements that the new firmware gives you. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. And if you'd like to get updates whenever new videos are posted, please subscribe to the channel. And whenever I pop something new on there, you'll get an email that tells you that it's available to watch. 73 from Dave, N6AFB.